There is so much you can learn about naked mole rats, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. Three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Like most animals in this life, Wilbur came into the world naked and screaming. Unlike those of his kind, it didn't last very long. As soon as Wilbur was old enough to walk, he discovered that some surfaces weren't as pleasant to walk on as others. So he decided he wanted something that would keep his feet warm and protect him from the rough ground. He checked out a dusty old book from the library and learned how to knit himself some socks. From there, his fondness for clothing grew, and he would frequently play his favorite game, dress up. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they would say, Ew! Yuck! And what are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy, or funny, or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! And if you like clothes so much, then why don't you marry them? I should add that naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, nearly 28 years old, greatest, and most naked naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his complete lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some nice slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes! Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Then he thought some more. Finally, he said, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. Should he dress as a superhero? Or a cowboy? Or maybe he should wear a tuxedo? In the end, he decided to play it safe and just wear a pair of socks. When he got there, he had second thoughts. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then, Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time, no exceptions. <laughs>